works perfectly fine, takes almost no space. But <laughs> it felt fun, it usually doesn't. I travel a lot. Anything from a weekend trip to a city somewhere in Europe to a six month working slash holiday experience going for multiple countries. I most often travel with the cheapest airlines possible as well to save on costs. So that means that oftentimes I only have a personal item or a carry-on at my disposal. And whether I like it or not, I needed to downside my toiletry bag to fit my needs, but also be able to fit comfortably in my bag so I wouldn't struggle too much, you know, going for the security. This is my toiletry bag that I'm gonna take to Berlin for a one week trip starting on Monday. And it has everything I need for that trip. It's quite a considerable downside from the previous toiletry bag that I used to use. And I oftentimes use it as well if I go somewhere for an extended period of time and I have a checked in luggage. But you can see the size, it's quite different. So let's dive in what's inside. There are of course a few important factors uh, when it comes to choosing a toiletry bag. And for me, one of the more important ones is that there's a handle. So it's easy to grab in case I just want to pull it out of my bag. My previous uh, toiletry bag also had that feature. And what's even more important is that the toiletry bag is able to just hang. So pretty much it has a hook like this. And this way I can just hang it whenever I'm in a hostel or hotel or in an Airbnb. It's incredibly helpful to just have that option to hang it out there so it's not just taking space on the counter. You can also see that the previous toiletry bag I had also had that and it's, it's just incredibly helpful, make it so much nicer to use that toiletry bag. What this hook allows you to do is that you're able to just hang it on any type of a metal rod or any hook and this way your toiletries and items that are in your toiletry bag don't have to touch the counter, especially that oftentimes the countertop is wet and it's just not that pleasant to use. So this is definitely one of the easiest ways to make your toiletry experience nicer. I think it also makes sense that I show you a little bit more of the toiletry bag. So pretty much it has this one big um, kind of space here with some elastic bands to help for with organization. And it also has this little see-through compartment, small pocket here for some items that I don't use that often. And here I also have a little bit of a um, kind of mesh compartment with different elastic bands. And here it actually broke. It used to be just connected over here, but it broke. So I used that little separation between the materials also for items that I don't use all that often, but maybe a little bit longer than this. Um, then on the other side, it also has a little bit of a pocket and I wish it had um, a zipper here. So next time I'm going to be buying a toiletry bag, I would definitely consider one with a zipper, uh, but it also helps to kind of keep some bigger items that are not you know, like it's nice to just have them separated. When it comes to the toiletry bag, I bought this one for a ridiculously low price. I found it in Poland in Auchan, maybe for like 10, 20 zloty, so just a few euros, max five euros. I don't think I paid more for that. Um, but obviously it's not the best quality, it's polyester. So I would probably consider some more waterproof materials going forward. Just notice that the toiletry bag is hanging slightly outside of the camera view. So I'm going to use one of the hero clips to make it um, be slightly more end of view. And that brings me to my next item I usually have with me in the toiletry bag or just outside of my bag that's useful when it comes to hanging the toiletry bag. Sometimes if the hook is too small, it's nice to have a kind of like a hanging hook like this. And that allows you to pretty much hang the toiletry bag when, wherever you want to with just the use of the hero clip. So now it should be much nicer in the view. Let's uh, see what's next. Um, when it comes to the things in the toiletry bag, uh, the first and biggest thing I always have with me is the Tangle Teaser. So pretty much a hairbrush for my hair. It's uh, quite bulky, but I couldn't find anything that suits my needs as well as the Tangle Teaser. And then I did have a regular version before but when it comes to traveling, the, uh, these little parts kind of get a little broken and bent. Um, so I just got a toiletry version. It's considerably smaller. However, it's still kind of chunky. So I'm looking forward to buying a different one if I find something that would actually brush my hair in a reasonable amount of time. So 
So that is the first thing. Then I also have another hair brush. Um, and I mostly use just this part to separate my hair um, into two parts. And uh, I just have it as my uh, minimalist uh, version in case I just go somewhere, let's say for a month, and I only go somewhere for one day. I would just take this one with me. So I can just take a small backpack. Um, then the next thing I usually take is a deodorant. And I like this travel version. And just for comparison, you can see the regular kind of deodorant I usually use is this size. This is kind of the travel version. I cannot find it in Europe anywhere. I only got it in the Philippines and I'm just using this one. Um, one of the tricks I guess I found is that you can just put this um, and like heat it up a little bit for a few seconds and then it gets a, a little bit more liquidy. Then you can just pour it into a smaller container such as this one and it would work just fine. I'm not a chemist, so I'm not sure if it changes something in the chemical structure, but so far it worked for me. I did not seem to have any problems with it, so I just melt a little bit of a bigger deodorant and pour it here. And it works just fine for me. Um, if I cannot find, uh, before I found this one, I couldn't really uh, find a similar small version of this type of a um, deodorant. Um, that kind of, you know, works like this. Um, so I used a different version. I used a kind of like a roller, roll-on type of a deodorant, kind of like this. And that's also a travel version, also considerably smaller than like a regular sized version. So it's perfect for traveling and it usually lasts for quite a long time. So if I travel just to up to a month, I would never take an actual full version of a product such as deodorant, I don't see a reason to. I would just take a smaller one such as this one. Well, and then the next thing uh, that's kind of around the subject is a perfume. So at home, I would usually use something like this, you know, like in a bigger bottle, but obviously that's not very travel friendly. So I would usually take something like this, um, just like a smaller version that, you know, sometimes they give away in Sephora or different other, um, those type of toiletry um, shops. Um, and I would usually take this, obviously it doesn't last that long, so I would usually take it if I only go for a weekend. Um, what I tried previously is to take one of those little kind of refillable bottles. So you pretty much, uh, it has a spray bottle here, you can just uh, refill it with a regular perfume and then have it for a few days. Um, so I tried that. I'm not exactly fond of the quality of this one because it seems to leak to some degree. So I am definitely on the lookout for a new version that would maybe be a little bit more durable, well, I guess. So let's see. But definitely taking some perfumes in the smaller bottles is quite a game changer in terms of space. So. And if I go for a trip such as my one week trip to Berlin, I would usually take maybe a few moisturizing creams. I usually get a few samples here and there, so I will usually use them for traveling. However, if I go somewhere for a longer period of time, I would definitely use something bigger and like a bigger container and then I'll just refill that on the way and just maybe let's just buy a small moisturizer, maybe about this size, use it for however long it lasts and then just replenish. Most often than that, um, more often than that, I would say, you can find a supermarket with cream, so it's not one of those items that you need to have from home unless you have a very specific set of needs. However, if I have maybe some um, vitamins, so something like this, and I want to use that on the road, I would generally pack this in this kind of like a little container for, um, for lenses, for eye lenses, um, and it works pretty well. They never leak at least for me, so I would usually put, let's say, vitamin C and some other one, let's say vitamin A, and then I would just use that on the road and mix it up with a regular moisturizer, and that works pretty well for me. I would often also get um, something, some little cream like this. This is a retinal cream. I like to use retinal creams quite often. So at home I have a bigger, bo bigger bottle, but this one works just fine. If I'm just going there for a week, will be definitely plenty. The next thing I usually take is some kind of face cleanser. Um, I would say I only take them if I have some small ones lying around. Otherwise, I would usually just use whatever soaps available if I just go for a few days, or I would 
you know, I'll just probably get something on the way from somewhere for a longer time. Um, you might be wondering why I didn't mention any body wash or shampoo yet. Generally speaking, when it comes to going for trips, I would just buy a shampoo or a body wash just wherever I go to. It's really quite a cheap item. I'm not very fussy about the particular brand. So if I just go to Berlin for one week, such as for example on Monday, I would probably just buy the cheapest shampoo I can find and wash myself with it. It's not a problem for me, especially if I go with a friend or two, then we can just share a big bottle and it's, it usually works out just fine. However, if I maybe go just for two, three days, I would generally take some of those um, conditioner, shampoo, um, bottles or body wash, something like this. I usually have quite a few lying around, they just kind of come along. So I would just bring some of those, use them up and uh, that would be sufficient for me. When it comes to trips that are a little bit longer, so let's say if I know that I'm going to be traveling for a month or two, and then I go, let's say, to a few Airbnbs, a few hotels, a few hostels. Maybe I'm going to sleep in a tent for a night or two. And it's kind of all dependent on many factors. I would generally also assume that at hotels and Airbnbs, oftentimes they already have shampoos. Um, so I would just use that. And if they don't, I would usually take something like this, something like a mesh. Um, it's not really a mesh, it's more, more, maybe more like a plastic kind of a container. And it usually has a hook, so you can just hang kind of this little um, little bag by a hook in the shower. And then I would usually just take a bar of soap. And my preference is to also just take a conditioner and shampoo um, type of a soap. And then I can just put that in and then I use it whenever there's no available um, shampoo option. I also wanted to get uh, that method where a soap pack. Um, and I did try to get it, however, I couldn't get the original, so I bought one off Amazon um, in the UK uh, from like a different brand. And to be honest, it didn't really work that well. I thought that the soap got really mushy, like mushy inside and it wasn't just that nice. So I don't really take it with me. I just wait for this bag to dry. It doesn't usually take too long, um, but I'm definitely going to try the original Metador. Um, soap pack as soon as I can actually order it. The next thing I always have with me are eye drops. And I did have LASIK um, over a year and a half ago and my eyes still get dry sometimes. So I usually have just one bottle of some um, eye drops and a few of those just one time kind of um, eye drop gels. And it's quite helpful to have them. I don't use them all the time, but probably once a day. I would need to drop my eyes, so I usually just have something with me when I travel as well. Then the next thing is the um, small uh, eyeshadow. So I usually just have something like this with just some regular colors, mostly brown, because that's what I usually use. And that's pretty much lasts me however for however long my trip is. Um, if I'm going somewhere more um, hot and climate. I, usually, I would usually not take any of the cosmetics um, such as eyeshadows because uh, it's, it's, I usually don't tend to do that. But if I go to Berlin, I'll probably go party a little bit. So that would be nice to have some, um, some eyeshadows as well. And to complement that, I would usually have a few uh, brushes. I generally have one that kind of goes, uh, has the um, kind of brush end on both sides and then just a few different ones. Um, not sure if I need that many to be honest, but this is just kind of the habitual amount I usually have with me. And then on top of that, I would usually have brow gel, so just a small one like this. And when it comes to other cosmetics, I generally um, have a concealer that I usually use under my eyes or if I'm putting some eye makeup. And then on top of that, I would usually have a small mascara. I found a tiny one like this works just fine, works equally well as any bigger one. So I would just take a small one. And then I usually also take a brow pencil, just like this. I also broke in, in half pretty much, so it's also tiny, it's to be longer. And then I recently bought an eyeliner, to be honest. I have never done eyeliner correctly in my entire life, um, but I wanted to give it a go and actually try it. So but why not? So this one, it's also going to go with me on that next trip. And the next thing I always take with me is a razor. And I generally just have this one from Gillette and it works 
perfectly well. It's a little bit small, uh, but that makes it even more convenient to have it um, in the toiletry bag. I don't ever carry the container with me. It's a little bit bulky, so I usually just leave it at home and I take this one uh, with me with this little uh, kind of like, how do you say, this little plastic container that they give you together with the blades. And I would just usually protect the blades uh, with this and it works perfectly fine. It takes almost no space. Oh, <laughs> it fell, but it usually doesn't. I just didn't uh, attach it correctly, I guess. Oh, wrong side, that's why. Then the next thing I usually take is just a nail file. I don't really like glass nail files or metal nail files. So this one can like paper ones or works fine for me. Just take one and I will usually take a mini nail clip, nail clipper. So it, it's tiny. Uh, just for comparison, I do have a full size one that I have at home. So this one is quite small, but works just fine when I travel. So this one uh, usually comes with me. And then the next thing I take is obviously a um, toothbrush. And I usually take one that um, whatever is available in a supermarket pretty much on the day, I always just have this little plastic thing on top of it. And I generally at home use the um, Oral-B toothbrush, so the one that vibrates. And I do prefer that, so anytime I find a little vibrating toothbrush like this, it's just, uh, I'm sure you can hear, um, kind of, um, so I just choose that. It works on a, both like AA battery and it's, it's pretty nice. When it comes to the toothpaste, I actually, when I go for like a week, I will just take something like this, a small container, and when I get home and then I'm ready for, to go for a new trip, I will just, you know, take this, open the lid here, open the lid here, fill the um, toothpaste from the bigger one to a smaller one, and then I will just take this with me. I tried using the tooth, toothpaste tablets, and to be honest, I hate them. I don't think they work on me at all. I think they're quite uncomfortable and don't really clean the teeth. Uh, to my liking, I don't feel they're as fresh. Um, so I would just take this. So I gave up on the um, how's it, solid, toilet, um, solid toothpaste tablet. And then the next thing, maybe you're going to laugh at me a little bit, but it's one of the eggs from uh, Kinder, Kinder Egg. And I would usually actually keep them. Um, if I have it, some kinder. And then I would just put some um, tablets here. So I generally have uh, just multivitamins um, tablets that kind of um, you, you drop into the glass of water and then you can just have them. So I would usually keep a few in case I feel a little bit under the weather. There are of course other um, tablets or pills that I take with me. And I would generally have any medication if I'm on any medication and then some ibuprofen, paracetamol, those type of things. And now just usually keep them here because um, at least with pain medications, I didn't tend to take them all that often. So they just kind of are in this little container and little pocket. I also have some hair um, kind of decoration. I'm not sure what the name of this is. Um, I tried using it a few times and I never really succeed. I don't ever feel like using them, but I'm committed to making more of uh, interesting hairstyles this year so i wanted to bring a few and maybe see if i can use them and create some fun looking hairstyles and then i also have a um, menstrual cup with me so it's always there as well so that's pretty much everything um oh, actually no, there's uh, two more things um so i have some strepsils three more things strepsils um one for um it's kind of like a sticker for a cold sore i will usually have one i don't usually get them but in case I do with some of my friends, it's nice to have one before we can get to a pharmacy and actually buy some um, a cream or something else. And then I would have this plastic looking thing. Um, it's usually, uh, I usually keep it here so it doesn't get lost, but it serves to, let me just get this. Um, it pretty much closes the uh, this receivable bag. And I use this bag to uh, put any of the dirty clothes and compress them when I go home. So this one is just, uh, is attached here so I can just uh, easily close it. So I usually just keep it there. There are still a few things that I have in the toiletry bag. So that's pretty much um, some kind of oil for my hair. My hair is terrible when it comes to untangling. So I usually just have some oil or some kind of conditioner 
meant for uh, dry hair and I would usually keep in a container like this so that's that's it then I will have a pair of uh, tweezers that's uh, self-explanatory I'd say and then I also have this and it's um it's kind of like a plastic silicone version of um, cotton buds and I would use them on the road instead of buying uh, you know the one-time use ones um, and then this one is quite nice for removing makeup or uh, you can just uh, pretty much uh, use it as a cosmetic um, cotton bud it works just fine for me um, maybe the material could be a little bit nicer and softer but it takes very little space and that's what it needs to do so that's it and then the last thing i usually keep here is a bracelet i don't usually wear too much jewelry as i have an apple watch and then just a pair of earrings but i would usually have one bracelet in case i want to go out somewhere and yeah so that's pretty much it and on the other side i would usually keep a few panty liners so i'm not going to show you and this um kind of like a little microfiber towel and it's meant for removing makeup, so I don't ever travel with any makeup removals. I don't see a reason to, I just um, usually wear makeup that can be removed with water. So I'll usually just um, drop a little bit of water on this, remove the makeup and then wash it soon after. And then anytime I use, like I would wash my clothes, I would wash this one as well. It works uh, perfectly fine for me and actually I prefer that to any other form of removing makeup. So the toiletry bag is empty now, nothing else to show. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you've learned something new to downside your toiletries or share with me some tips and tricks. Maybe there's something I haven't heard about yet I would love to learn. See you next time!